Hi family, my name is Laura and I'm with the Professionals Ministry of the Greater Pittsburgh Church of Christ. And I'm here today to share with you one of my favorite miracles of the Bible. It is on chapter 21 of Genesis. And for a little bit of context, Sarah has just had Isaac and she wants Abraham to send Hagar and Ishmael away. And here's where we find Hagar in the desert, all alone and desperate. So we're going to start on verse 15 of chapter 21. And it reads, When the water in the skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat down about a bow shot away, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. God heard the boy crying, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What is the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift the boy up and take him by the hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. So she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. I feel for Hagar. <laughs> when I become so overwhelmed with hopelessness and powerlessness, I just cry in desperation. I'm like, why can't I make things better? Every time I try to make things better, I just make things worse. And I feel so powerless and I just feel like I just can't do anything right. And I want to just walk away from the situation because it's totally done. <laughs> like I can't do anything about it, right? And this is one of those situations when someone acted out of desperation and made a mistake and, and, and then they try to fix it, but by sending it away and all hope was lost and of course it didn't work because it wasn't God's plan. People were just acting out of fear and desperation. So, you know, God still does something amazing with it. He promises that Ishmael is going to grow up and become a great nation. Yet, Hagar is crying out because she doesn't believe that Ishmael is going to live. She thinks he's going to die and she's totally powerless, which is true, you know, she's powerless, but she forgets that God isn't, that God can do anything out of any situation. So she's crying and desperate and totally alone and then God steps in because he's a good God and he keeps his promises and he's not going to let Ishmael die. So he opens her eyes and she sees her saving grace. And I love this reminder of God and his utter truth and his promises and trust in his promises, especially when I think about reaching out to people, right? Um, we, we reach out to people for years, or like the same people for years and years and years and they're not changing their mind and they're like, I don't care about this, like please stop asking and stuff asking but we have seen it we have seen it even in our own congregation that even when we lose all hope um god turns it around i know of disciples who were reached out to for seven years and then something god changed their mind and softened their heart and they begin to study and get to know him and now they're part of our congregation now they're brothers and sisters among us right so um, in this situation that we're in right now, we may be feeling that way. We may be feeling like there's nothing we can do, that all hope is gone and that we're totally powerless. And I mean, it's kind of true, right? Like none of us are doctors. None of us are working with the CDC or WHO or, or any of those um, organizations that are working to find, um, to find a cure for coronavirus or anything like that. But... That doesn't mean that God is not working. That doesn't mean that he is not in the desert with us, that he hears our cries and not just our cries, but the cries of people who maybe don't believe in him to maybe, maybe are frustrated and are crying in desperation. Even those people who are not God people or church people, God's still listening to our cries. You know, Ishmael was crying, but he didn't know, at least we don't think that he knew that he was crying and God was listening. Um, and heard his cries. He was just crying because he was thirsty and desperate. But God heard him. God heard his cry and came and rescued him. So I think of all of all the people who are out there right now and, and they're, you know, just wondering 
what's going to happen to us, who's going to get sick, who's going to die, and are just desperate and crying out in desperation. Um, and reading the story is really comforting because Hagar was still in the desert, right? She found a well and, um, and, and to drink from for her and Ishmael, but she was still in the desert, meaning that it was going to be a while before she um, found refuge and found a community and then founded a community of people through Ishmael. It still was going to be a while, but, but that reminder in that moment was enough to get her up and, and give her faith. And I pray today, church, that this story um, is a reminder of God and his good promises. He's a God who listens. He's a God who sees us and, and hears our cries of desperation, church. And let us not give up on this situation. Let us not give up on what God can do, even in the most hopeless and powerless of situations. I pray that he opens our eyes soon and we see an amazing amazing faith giving faith filling miracle thank you i love you and i hope i see you and hug you all very very soon